Evening all. If you're here, how does the audio sound? Just before we, you know, get into everything. Is the internet holding? That'll be, that'll be an interesting one. Yep, cool, happy. Seems like there's excellent connection. So, 33 seconds. Stream looks good. Let's get to it. So, Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. For those of you who don't know, this is a game where you can basically build ships. You basically battle them out, and uh, it's meant to be as realistic as possible because you have to go in through everything. But, you know, we'll have a go. I've got the Battle of Coronel planning to do. I've done Monmouth and I've done Good Hope. Good Hope is slightly wrong because the game won't let me build a cruiser over 14,000 tons. So that's a bit annoying. Basically means I'm missing two of the casemate six inch guns. Bit annoying, but yeah. That's unfortunately what I have to go for. Now, let's get into it. So, Monmouth, Good Hope are done. This is Good Hope, as you can see here. She is meant to have guns here, but the ship is a bit too... So once you increase this, the actual length of the ship, or the displacement of the ship, to 14,000 tons, it makes the ship longer. However, because the game says it doesn't like a 14,000 ton armoured cruiser, you can't do it. Hence why she's now nine, well, just under 14,000 tons and missing the aft two casements. So, yeah. Great. Um, how does it sound? Does it sound okay? Or not? Just because I've never actually streamed a game. Drop the range down a bit, because... She's not that long range, I'll give her that. Okay, so... Uh, ba -ba -ba. Need to make... Glasgow. So Glasgow is a town class cruiser. Ah, very nice. I didn't know that. To be honest, I literally turned this on this morning and went, ooh, I can do this stuff. But anyway, hello Griffin, how you doing? Right, light cruiser. Oh, they don't give you good cruisers, do they? There's that one. There's that one. This is not really a town class, is there? Bit crap. Never mind. So the one we're looking for is... Might have to be that one. Within the 4,000 odd... 4,500 odd ton range, give or take. So, she's got two single little six inch guns. One there. One there. Sound. Hello, Mark. How you doing? Two six-inch guns. Now we got to stick in ten four-inch guns. Oh, this is going to be great. Are they clusters? Oh. So that's one, two, three, four. Oh. There we are, that's five, isn't it? Five each side, four three pounder guns, which is two inch guns. Now let's go with three. However, you can't really do three when it comes to these ships. A bit annoying. So now two eighteen inch torpedo tubes. Are they? Or are they single mounts? I think they might have been singles on the decks. Anyway, they're underneath the uh, water. Now, with that, she's got four funnels, which is going to be a pig to do. Oh, actually, however, was she? 4,800. Which means there is place. Was a mole guns. That's what we like to see. 
Excellent. Good. I'm not bad. Do do do. Ooh. That's way too big. Two, three. Nope. One more back. We've got four funnels. Oh, fair. That's quite cool. Might have to play with that then. No, was it four inches? No, it wasn't. What were these secondary guns? Those were, yeah, they were four inches. There. Right. Now, forward and aft towers. That looks fine, except for you can't put it there. The hitboxes of this game are very strange. But you can't really do much about it, can you? Um, it's not a Gangut style. No. No. Ah. Oh, very nice. I haven't got one of those. I'd like to get one. I think we need to put the guns on the main deck. I think that's the only way I'm going to do it. So, um... Right, one, two, three, four, five. Five, ten, check. Cool. What's her speed? How long? Is she, how long? Well, yeah. How fast is she? She's twenty-seven knots. Twenty-seven knots. I can't see the speed. Twenty-five knots. So she's the faster one of the lot. Like that. Bulkheads. Meh. I think she was actually pretty decent when it comes to crew. Quarters, yeah, blah, 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 blah. Auxiliary engines, check. Well, she's steam turbined. So that meat. I think she might have been oil powered. Which I could get. Or oh, was she coal still? The boilers use both fuel oil and coal. So, right, we're going oil. <laughs> Fuck it. It'll be fine. Harvey armor, check. She was a scout cruiser, so... Minimalistic armor. Anti-flood, yeah, blah, 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 blah. 18-inch torpedo tubes? Yep, they were. Cool. Range finding, because she's a newer ship, will give her slightly better range finding capabilities than the other ones. Right, belt armor. She's got... None. So, the main deck is two inches. Shoot. A little bit too much. Cool. And then the forward and after ends are 0 0.75. Conning tower is six inches. And you can't go to six inches. That's annoying. Uh, okay. That should be it. Obviously, you can't do a Tranto because you can't make a transport. But <laughs> there apparently is Glasgow. <laughs> Let's change the name to Glasgow. So we'll do this battle. And then what we'll do afterwards is we'll go through and you can pick which of the whatever battle you want to do. If that sounds cool with you guys. Uh, don't need cannon. Actually, can you make a Tranto? Can you make an armed merchant cruiser? Let's have a look. I don't think you can, but I want to give it a go. I 
No, I don't think you can. That's annoying. Okay. Then what I want to do is look at the Sharnhorsts. Sharnhorst class. Hello, Aiden Murphy. How you doing? Cool. Let's see if I can design two German armed cruisers. Oh, look, it's the enemy is. And apparently that's a Graf Spee. I think that's more like a. Well, I would say a. a uh... I don't know what it is, actually. Well, anyway, whatever it is, apparently the Germans can't have a 14,000 ton cruiser, so. Shock. So we need to have a 12,000 ton armed cruiser. This goes only up to 11. Thanks, Germany. <laughs> Going well. Going smashing, lads. Speed on them is 22.7, so they're actually slower than Monmouth. Believe it or not. Oh, had it. Come on. Come on. There we are. Mm, don't back. There. They had crack gunners. Quarters were meh. All right. And then we are talking about 8.3 inch guns, which I don't think they're going to be. No, they can do it. Are they dual? Yeah, they were duals. Oh dear, this is not look good at all. Look away, kids. I'm unfortunately making a... Well... It, I don't know what's going to be. <laughs> it looks awful. Like, really, really bad. It's like a French... It looks French. Probably is French, actually. Ugh. Absolutely minging. Absolutely honking looking vessel. Half tower, we're going to go for that one. She needs 8 inch guns on the sides, which are going to be singles. Which you can't do. Hmm. Okay. Is it worth... Gonna have to be in it. Because you had, just to make, just to confirm Nuremberg, Dresden, Leipzig, Scharnholz, Neisenau. So that's three light cruisers and two heavy cruisers, technically. If we're going off this. But with a pointy at the bow, they're a bit, well. They are, well, from what I understand, they had a pointy bow to basically ram stuff, for what I think. What I, I, yeah, I think it is just to ram stuff in general. Do we go for that one? Chat, do we go for this hull for the Sharnholz and Nizer now? Because I don't think... Mm, I don't know. Because I can't actually go for the semi-armoured cruiser by here. Because apparently the Germans don't don't deem them as... <laughs> well, all of them basically had weird funky bows. Right. Those can be the Nuremberg's. That can be the Scharnhorst. So Scharnhorst and Nisenor are 12,000 tons. You can only go to 10. Balls. Okay. See, that... I would go for that, but... That hole there. Armored Cruiser 5. 
14,000 to 18,000 tons. Yay, or we say nay? Just because obviously trying to make this look a bit more, you know, realistic instead of just going, yeah, be fair. Try the battlecruiser hull. All right. <laughs> Oh, they're going to have their asses kicked. <laughs> I mean, the the British don't look that bad, actually. I mean, I'm pretty sure they do use the Drake-class hull. But, um... Mm. The hell is that name? Right, okay, what? What's their displacement? 12,000 tonnes. That goes in 19,000. That's 20... <sighs> hmm. Right. I don't think we're going to be able to do it on that. Oh. Let's see, that's the problem. And even the battle cruisers are a little bit too fast. But, let's try the battleships. And we'll see what we see how we go. Oh god. Small dreadnought. That is a not the way the weight I want. So even eighteen thousand tons is way too heavy. Would you say just don't worry about the displacements and just go for the guns? Or not? Or do we just say sod it and just go for that? Yeah, sod it. We'll just go for this. This will be fine. Centerline guns, nine duels there. It sort of looks like it. It's got the step down quarter deck. Funnels, she has four? Yes, she does. She has four. One, Oh, they're thin as well. And they all come with stupid things on them. Uh, fuck it. Sorry, it'll be fine. That one. That one. That one. That one. More importantly, it look nice. Yes. Might as well. Oh, she's even got weird, funky armament everywhere as well. Now I remember why I hated these ships. These were a pain in the backside to build in Minecraft, and a pain in the backside to do now. Oh, oh, how are my years of being a kid and building ships in Minecraft have come back to haunt me? <laughs> building ships in here. Oh well, meh. Yeah, that'll be fine. Uh, for a tower, it's not really a for a tower at all. It's I don't even no, it doesn't even look well. Hmm. See, this is the thing. If you go for these types of superstructures, they sort of look similar, but then mm, they're just way too big. Yeah, that's not going to work, is it? Oh. Hmm. That's an idea. We'll do that. After I've... plead about with this stupid ship. See, even the superstructures are way too large for it. Oh, God. Germany, I really genuinely hate you. Looks like the Shan horse are not going to be done. Unless. Oh! There we are. Oh, wait, that's a rear tower. And you can only get four towers like that. See, I thought I was onto it then as well. Damn it. Um.
I don't think it's going to work. I really don't think it's going to work. But, um... What's the shortest one? See, even that takes up half the bloody ship. Um, that one. Nope. I think we should um change this up a bit, actually. Two. Bear with me. Bear with me a second, just because I think if I whack up the the date, I think it might work. <laughs> um, mm. I'm not gonna lie, I don't think it's gonna work. Well, turns out, okay, fair point. We'll do that. We shall do that. Although, no, mm, 1914, that'll be fine. Go. Can't go over 14,000 tons with it. Oh, oh my god. Well, that's. I don't know. I think, I honestly think Dreadnought probably would have done better than Thunderchild. But then again, that's all dependent if the uh, if the gunnery crews can actually see what they're bloody shooting at. What else can we do? What else can we do? What can we do? I will just say it's not it. We'll just we'll build them on a. Nassau hull. Small dreadnought hull. These towers better be good. See, why do you get that tower for there, but you can't get it for the... Oh. Actually, that's... No. Oh, it, it'd be fine. It will be fine. Tall funnel? No, I want a tall thin funnel. Large, 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 large. Just looks like a British battleship now. <laughs> oh dear. This is this is not going to be a Sean Horst. <laughs> this is really not going to be a Sean Horst. <laughs> Okay, so if I can get this to look fine, if this is, we use it as a basis. Afterwards, we can then, if it doesn't work, go and complain to the people who make the game and go, "Oi, give us a shard or soul, please." <laughs> what else you got? She's got four more singles of the nine-inch gun. Wow, great! Absolutely bloody marvelous. I think we all know how this is going to go down as well. Right, so two, single, four singles. Yep. Then six inch guns in, I believe, casements. And then you've got 18, 3.5 inch guns. Um, try 19.10 hull. Alright, I'll give it a try, just in a second, to see if this one works. If it doesn't, then we'll go back to 1910 and see if that works. If not, we'll just go back to this weird monstrosity. Um, Age of Eagle 1918, if she would have been feared at Jutland. Well, I don't really think she would have been. Or 
what's the second? What's the smaller guns? They're more like fours. Two, four, six, eight. Eight. Nine. Ten. Oh. I can get ten. Can I get any more? Eleven. I don't think I'm going to be able to get eighteen. Actually, because they're slightly closer to the. Well, they're in the middle. Try the three inch guns and see what happens with those. Two, four, six, eight. No, stop being a pain in the ass. Ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen. Ah, uh, I can get sixteen. Eighteen. There we are. Right. And as you got four torpedo tubes. And they're all submerged. There's one in the forehead, one in the aft, one on the broadsides. Cool! We actually have a ship. I meant to ask if how Eagle would have fared at Jutland if she would not have been feared. Oh, right. Mm. I don't know, they'd probably be shot up. Maybe? I don't know. Probably everyone would be like, ooh, look at that weird thing. Maybe shot at it to see what happens. Probably. Right. Let's go for the ship's components. So she was a crack gunnery ship. She used oil? I think she used oil. From what I remember, maybe it might have been coal. Just having a quick little check over a Wikipedia page. Do, 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 do. Um, no. Might as well give her some barbets, otherwise, <sighs> she might have a random magazine detonation. And the only thing I think could probably do that might have been Good Hope. But that's if Good Hope can actually hit the broad type of barn from the inside. I mean, she was. She would have been the one that could actually deal the damage, but well, it didn't really go down well at all, did it? I will give it a try. That will be the next ship to do after the Japanese cruiser with or Japanese destroyer with a five inch jewels, which we can do. They didn't have an anti torpedo protection. They were an armored cruiser, so they technically had an armored citadel. They were using. That, I think. I can't really tell. 18 is torpedoes. Check, check, check. They were a crack gunnery ship. Well, both of them were. The main belt needs to be 5.9 inches. Apparently, we can only go down to 9. Non existent on that. Non existent on that. Well, I'm pretty sure they're. They had an icebreaker bow anyway, so that would have been at least a couple of inches. About an inch. Inch and a half. Oh, shoot. The deck is about 2.4 inches thick. And then the forward and aft ends were 1.4. Conning tower. It doesn't say. So we'll just bring that down to zero. Superstructure down to zero. And the turrets apparently were 7.1 inches thick, not 13.5 as the uh, the game wants to give you. So 
7.1. There we are. Right. So, there is that. Give a crop steel. Shafts. I'm going to give her a two shaft. Yeah, it'll be fine. Right. Now I need to call her Sean. Oh, God. Oh. Sean Horst. Shiny Horst. Right. There we are. Check. Ditch that one. Yes. No one wants to have the Thungria. And we'll copy her. Schwabang. Uh, God. How do you spell it? We're on the Wikipedia page that says Sharnals. There it is. Cool. Right. G N E I S E N A U. Nice now. Cool. So we have both ships. I. Is there a game like Ultimate I don't know. I'm not sure. So that's apparently a Sharn Horse class. Cool. Right, let's play some cruisers. Some light cruisers. So we're looking at. Let's delete those. Leipzig, Nuremberg, and Dresden. So SMS Dresden. Not the 1917 one. 1907, check. Ditch that. Uh, SMS Nuremberg. And I'm pretty sure she is exactly the same as one of these. So Dresden's a Dresden class. Leipzig is. Or Leipzig. Yes. SMS. Leap. How's about Leipzig? L E I. There she is. Oh, there's bloody more of them. Two. Great. 1905. And she's a Bremen class, so. Great. All three are different. Because, of course, they are. Right, let's play with Bremen first. So this is going to be... Nope, we're not playing with Bremen. Leipzig. Leipzig. Um, as for all of you here tonight who are actually watching, tomorrow there's a video coming out on the Queen Elizabeth class battleships. As in, the genuine battleship Queen Elizabeth. Not an overview class, more like just a single ship. So, just to give you a heads up, that's coming out at about 0900 in the daytime. So I hope you uh, hope you enjoy that. That seems to be the right hull. How heavy was she? She's tiny. She's three thousand tons. She weighs about the same as a Type Four, no, Type Twenty Three. No. Maybe just a little bit less than Type 23. Ooh, from the 20th century. Oh, God. Uh, does it have to be built ones? Because if not, I can... Shut up, Whiskey. <laughs> I know some of us don't have a life, and some of us technically don't work anymore, but, you know, it's fine. 0900 is good. Honestly, I don't like how I have to go to one screen and it just moves the bloody camera. Alright, we'll give a built ones. Vanguard will be one. Um, Hermes is another one. And the third one will have to be Warspite. No, no, no. Scratch that. Raglan, the Abercrombie class monitor that got blown up and sunk by the 
Goben, Monmouth, the Armored Cruiser, and Vanguard. We'll go for we'll go for that. Because why not? Okay. So she's a twenty two knot vessel. So she's slow. She very slow. I might even just sit Canopus in this for Schnizzles. This is called Ad Ultimate Admiral Dreadnought. It's a cool game, actually. You should get a whiskey. It's only 30 quid on uh, on Steam. Ah, <laughs> oh, so you've got four inch guns. Excellent. How many? Um, ten. One, two, three, four. Two, four, six, eight. Oh, oh, that's that's in keeping with the times. That's they're, they're split. There's no, they're not actually on the center line. Oh, that's interesting. That's really interesting. Yeah, I see. That's annoying. Well, anyway, we'll have a go at it, no matter what. We'll see what happens. If it doesn't work, then we'll just have the armed cruisers versus armed cruisers and just go with that. I think this actually might work. Um... Don't think it's going to work with the funnels. <laughs> uh, no. The funnels are way too large. Well, let's make the ship a little, about a thousand tons heavier than it should be. Boink. Zoid. Torpedo tubes. No, no, she's even got maximum machine guns. Oops, I forgot about those. Uh, two, four, six... Eight, ten. Right. Ditch those guns because those are actually encasements. And then unfortunately, I'm only have to go three inch guns like that. Um, two inch guns there and none on the aft end. I don't seem to be able to put any secondary guns on either, so that's a shame. So she's only going to have to have this. Wow, that's impressive. Now, torpedoes. These were underwaters, I'm pretty sure, so... I think so. Standard one in the arse, standard one in the forehead? Or were they... That'll be fine. Cool. Five thousand tons. Blah, 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 blah. She was alright. She was coal powered. She has an auxiliary engine. Shaft. Crap. Meh, 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 meh. She is a scout cruiser, so she's technically got an armored deck. Right, belt armor, here we go. So you've got none. The main deck is 3.1 inches. So moderately armored, I guess. Oh, just one minute. Let me just move my microphone so I actually see the chat when it actually comes in. Ah, hello, Vessel. How are you? Conning Tower is 3.1 about three point nine inches. Oh god, that's way too heavy. <laughs> um. Well, so you know how the Argentines were arming their aircraft coming off the Ventacinto de Mayo. I think the Amer the Argentines would have won the carrier battle. 
if it was a one-on-one -on -one carrier action. No, oh, nice for some. <laughs> some of us have worked all day, technically speaking. Right, gun shields check. That is fine. Leipzig is done. I'll just copy it and just make the Nuremberg. <laughs> If we can get away with it, we can get away with it. If we can't, then... Oh, well. Not to worry. So, Nuremberg has got 10 4-inch guns. Exactly the same as this. Uh, 8 2-inch guns. So, how many have I got? Which is about 3,000 odd tons. Same, well, she's actually slightly faster at 23.4. Ooh. Close enough. She's got four and enough guns, four and enough torpedoes. Bob's your uncle. That's pretty much the Nuremberg. Um, although, I need to sort out the armor. So the deck. Seems to be about 3.1 inches. Check. Kind to have 3.9 inches. Yeah. Sorted. Easy. Dresden. Here we go. Dresden is exactly the same. What do you know? Although, she is slightly different, it would appear. So she's got all the guns. Ah, Cameron, hello. So she's got all the guns, all 10 4.1 inch guns. She's also slightly faster at 24 knots. Close enough. And what we'll do is the deck's fine, the Conning's house fine, and the guns are fine. So, what do you know? <laughs> Those were easy. <laughs> I mean, it's also close in terms of naming. I mean, Hamburg, Nuremberg, no, it's the other one. Uh, Dresden, right. Cool, Dresden. Um, and what we're gonna do, we're gonna go over to the British and we're gonna press go. And we'll see <laughs> how this goes. My money's on the Germans. Just gonna say. Yeah. I mean, they actually. Well, the, that's not the transport I wanted, but okay. Oh, flip hell. What? No, I did not want two Good Hope class battle uh, armored cruisers. I wanted one Monmouth and one. No, oh, for God's sake. Mm, this is not good. They screwed up already. Whoa. Lag. Big, big lag. Settings. Apply. Back. Go. That's a little bit better. Although this is a very weird battle of Coronel. Hmm. Is there any other ships I've got? Oh, hello. Monmouth over there? No, that's Glasgow. Right. Give it AI control. AI control. Def what? What is that? Well, the Tranto, um. Hmm. A Tranto seems to have turned into a. Bay well. A leaf class tanker. Of all things. So. Hmm. 
Interesting. Okay. So let's hope that Good Hope and Discount Bloody Monmouth will actually win. I need to drop the settings down again because apparently it really doesn't like me playing like this. I don't know, it's just, yeah. Anyway. Look at, look at. Aw, she actually looks good. It surprisingly looked not bad. <laughs> it's probably one of the better models I've actually built in this game. That actually looks vaguely realistic to what it really is. Uh, no, <laughs> I don't think you could. It's like trying to refit the Bairn to be a jet-powered aircraft carrier. It just doesn't work. <laughs> the only thing that thing's good for is bloody commerce raining with guns. Let's have a look at what is basically Sharnhorst and Nisen now. <laughs> 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 oh, God. Hell, bloody Von... Spale float around these two things. I... <laughs> oh! Oh, that was a ricochet. Damn it! <laughs> I thought, oh my god. <laughs> They've actually hit something, but no, they haven't. That's really annoying. That's really choppy. So, a battle cruiser versus a battle. Versus an armored cruiser. Okay. All right. I think we could do that. I'm just gonna have to. I'm gonna drop it all the way down because it's really not liking streaming. So we just zoom out slightly so so it's like, you know. That'd be fine. Uh knee got hit. Oh Wonderbar. Oh, Sean Hall for Dunkirk. Interesting, alright. Well, yeah, that's understandable. Ooh. Ooh. Good hopes sink is flooding. She's actually been hit. That's interesting. So like the real uh, real battle of Coronel, Good Hope has taken the first hit. However, Unlike the real battle, Good Hope has not had a forward magazine detonate yet. And oh, so I've set up the crews, so all these are basically cadets, per se. It's because most of the squadron that Craddock actually took with him were all reserve, reserve personnel. <clears throat> And obviously, the Germans, Scharnholz and Eisenau, were known as crack gunnery of warships. So, yeah. Good fun. Oh. How is she... Right, fair. Um, go for a head formation. Oh, she's taking a hit in the f in the bow peak. Oh, she's gonna go down. I can see it. Andromeda, go to armor piercing. You armor piercing. Save your shells. 
Oh. Hello. Someone's been... So discounter Niza now is on fire. Maybe, just maybe, <laughs> Craddock Squadron might might actually win this. <laughs> oh, like for what it seems, the nine point two inch shell has actually bounced off Good Hope. And what seems to be Glasgow is doing well. Although the Germans seem to be actually focusing on the Glasgow itself. So uh, my chance, my, my money is going to be on, in quotation marks, as the German armored cruisers. Yeah. Although, she's had an overpenetration and a fire in the aft boiler room, so... Hmm. I don't think they did. Oh, Jesus. They've even got the rest of the squadron. Oh. Oh, God. <laughs> I didn't realise they were coming in. Um. Oh. Right. Interesting. <sighs> oh, we have a over penetration. Monmouth is somehow ricocheted a salvo. <laughs> Got not partial penetration on the uh, knives now. Wait, did they change their names? Strange, strange. Oh, and Monmouth just taking a shell straight to her uh, side. Mm -mm. Oh, and she's flooding. Oh, no. The Germans can smell water, I smell blood. I can probably also smell the water as well, because it is seawater. But even still, I don't think Monmouth's going to last much longer. Come on. Be interested to see what Glasgow does here. Does she torpedo the Leipzig, or does she not? Or does she just get absolutely nailed by Salvo's torpedoes? Who knows? For what it seems, oh god, Monmouth is critical. Engines out of action, three compartments are flooded. Um, it looks to be the magazine for the forward turrets flooded. So, that's not good. A tanker, a Tranto, is buggered off. <laughs> Essentially. Um... Although Monmouth's still going, and she is moving the flooding. So that's 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 good on her part. <laughs> well, I think we can try that one out in a bit. If people are willing to watch me build a Japanese destroyer with five inch dual guns. Uh ooh, torpedoes. What's the skipper of the Glasgow going to do? Oh! Glasgow's going to take a torpedo. I'm not going to control. I'm not controlling. This is completely down to the AI. Oh, shoot. <laughs> um. So, kids. In the, uh, the Battle of Cor... Oh, God. Oh, no. And the good ship Glasgow goes down, taking all hands.
Okay. Oh, oof. That's um. That's what you don't want to see. Both engines out of action. Fire. Flooding. Critically. Um. Yeah. So, back on the uh, the armored cruisers. <laughs> Ooh. So one of the light cruisers has is well a blaze in the aft end. She's got flooding in three of the compartments, and she's also launched a torpedo. Probably a bow torpedo. And she's aimed straight for Good Hope. So Good Hope is actually taken over no, oh, Good Hope's there. My bad. Is actually taking the reins. Oh, Monmouth's even launched torpedoes. But as of reality, Monmouth gets torpedoed by a German light cruiser. But if you notice, the Germans are actually sort of retreating, per se. Although Monmouth is starting to actually look like the real Monmouth itself. A blaze yet defiant to the end. Whereas Good Hope over here has actually lasted longer <laughs> in this game than she has in bloody real life. And it's all down to, you know, those lucky shots. Obviously, Bismarck. Bismarck hit the hood with a very lucky shot, and, well, we all know what happened to that. Ah, very nice. Very nice. That's cool. Oh, thanks, man. Much appreciated. Hmm. I'm wondering, are they actually going to get a kill? Oh, whoa. Oh, that's not good. Good hope has actually <laughs> taken a hit in the forward end. Well, I'm not surprised. Well, the boat deck's ablaze. Oh, dear. How is Monmouth doing? Monmouth's doing not great, actually. So she's got flooding in the shaft passage, or the shaft compartments. The aft turret is damaged, the second funnel's damaged, the, well, the officer's quarters are gone, pretty much. And she's got superficial damage in the forecastle. The rudder slightly damaged. And yeah. Well, she even got a bent funnel. Look at that. That is really cool. Yeah, Good Hope took a torpedo. When in reality, she really didn't. Monmouth was the one that took all the torpedoes. Because she just refused to bloody die. <laughs> But I know she's called Andromeda, but she didn't. They didn't really. I don't know why, but it wouldn't let me call it Monmouth afterwards. But I don't think we're actually going to get a kill on the Germans. I think. I think, as like real life, Craddock Squadron is going to the bottom of the ocean. Let's have a look at the Germans and see how they're doing. So, one of the light cruisers. Let's make sure which one's which. So, that's 
Okay, so that's either Nuremberg or Dr Leipzig. Either Nuremberg or Leipzig is currently... Well, there's a grammatical word for it that is not really good to obviously say over the internet. However, I will use the word FUBARD and take whichever version of that word beginning with F you will want to use. But, yes. If I was the skipper of this ship, I would probably scuttle it. Because, yeah, she not good. But, that being said, she's... She's surviving, that's the problem. Let's speed up time a bit more. So Monmouth's taken all the brunt of the hits. She has... Well, she's literally taken the entire bloody... Well, she's taken it in the face and she's about to take another torpedo midships. Is she? No! In the aft end. Oh, no. Come on, Monmouth. Come on. I mean, she's not doing badly. She's, she's surviving. But, um... I'd like to point something out here. Oh, wow. Thank you very much, mate. Um, that's amazing. Thank you. Um, I appreciate the five dollars. Keeps me going. Keeps me. Keeps me doing what I'm trying to do. Yeah, she is pretty much badly damaged. Is that realistic? Her engines are out of action. She's slowly sinking, and the German light cruisers are coming into. Uh, well. Finish her off, basically. But, um, yeah, what's your question about the Arc Royal quarterdeck? Which one are we talking about? Because there's a few Arc Royals. Oh, God. <laughs> Although, in reality, it's actually quite realistic how the fact that she's dead in the water, she's got no fires on board, and... Is there a way you can change it to, like, darkness? Wait, did she? What? Engine 3 damaged on the Scharnhorst. Ooh. Shiny horses. How has she taken that? And... Wait, has her skipper been knocked out? Oh, the kind have damaged. That's interesting. Nice and now is fine. Because bloody of course it is. Um, we'll call that one Leipzig. This one Nuremberg. And that one Dresden. No. What? No, Dresden's fine. We'll call that one Leip Leipzig. No, it's not a Scharnhorst class armor cruiser, but there's the only way I can get all the guns to look fine. <laughs> it's really annoying. They don't seem to want to do a, uh, a Sean Horse model. And Monmouth's about to take another torpedo in the aft end. My money's on her surviving it. Oh, she's actually doing nine knots. Oh. She was doing nine knots and now she's not. Um... R09, that's the Invincible. Okay, so the deck would be wooden, so it would be the teak deck. You would have, I think, once I remember. Yeah, she's really taking hits to the aft end, isn't she? I mean, her engines are completely out of action. Propulsion's out of action. Good hopes buggering off. 
She's pulling a car and going, screw you guys, I'm going home. But to go back to your uh, point, Model Commander, the quarterdeck would have the ships... Hmm. I think they are. That's great. <clears throat> To be honest, I don't blame my mother. Mom was going down anyway, but she's pulling off what she did in real life and taking everyone down with her because she's not going to surrender. We'll, we'll let her whack the speed up whilst I talk. So she's got T decking. The sides. Oh, she actually is moving. The sides would have, I think, there was a single. Bollard each side. There will there is the scuttles aft for uh, obviously the admiral and the captain. There's also the ships on a uh, battle honors badge or battle honors board, which would be on the folk on the quarter deck. Along with I think it was a wooden capstan or wooden style capstan, which was actually metal. And there would have been a wooden box. It's like a very big, large box. Um, how's the best way to describe it? It's probably about... There we are. Um, I know, she's literally holding on. She's actually... <laughs> the flooding's going away. She's gonna survive. Just... Come on, Monmouth. You can do it. Oh, she's only lost 10% of the crew. It's fine. <laughs> so the wooden box on the quarter deck is about three to four foot long. It's got a couple of holes in it. It's got like loads of holes in it, actually. But they're... Um, how's the best way to describe it? Imagine loads of... Ooh, something's taking a torpedo. Is the Cormoran taking a torpedo? Well, that's an old message. Yes. Good open mom went down with all hands. Um... What's in the box? Uh, crap, basically. Or just anything and everything. So, okay. Imagine if you have long, thin, square bits of wood. And they're basically put into like a cross sec, a cross way. And it's basically like multiple layers of it and then a, a lid on top that's it doesn't lift up but well, it lifts up but you don't actually pivot it up and down it's just like a big box you just it's bloody heavy you carry it around <laughs> it's usually stored there and then when you come alongside it somewhere you get it out and you just stick some random chits on top of it and that's it it's a boring box that's usually there she was, hence why I've modelled it with the crew that are all cadets and the Germans are crack gunnery squadron, because they were. So yeah, that's that's what I've done. Now, shall I speed it up? How would QE do if she fared in the Falklands War? We're talking about the QE class carrier, as in Queen Elizabeth. The RO6. R08. Jesus Christ. I've only served on one ship and I forgot the bloody pen number. Oh, that's dear. Oh, dear. Um. Yeah. Oh. That's quite cool. What's the difference between Lutzow and Grush Bay? 
I can't remember. There was like, did, was she the one with the thinner superstructure that like was like Nuremberg style, or was it the other one, which had a slightly different rear end? They would, they really would, but I don't know. Monmouth seems to be taking it like a tramp right now. Oh dear. Ah, let's have the pole mast. Roger. Um, right, let's speed it up because this is taking bloody forever. And I'll I'll slow it down. I think I might do run it with Canopus. <laughs> Just see what happens. And actually if I'll, you know, be able to get a Monmouth this time, is it a good hope? But like <laughs> Yeah, the Sean Ulster that because I couldn't get anything to actually fit all of them he did plus the Canopus's uh, chief engineer was having a mental breakdown oh she's losing she's losing hull integrity again <laughs> Jesus Christ you don't want to be the bloody W control officer on that thing do you Oh, she's bringing it back. <laughs> oh, Monmouth. <laughs> oh, she's on fire now as well. Oh, my God. I should laugh. I really shouldn't laugh, but oh my dear god. Ooh. That was a big hit. The quarter deck's not actually underwater. It's It's getting there. It's going on and off. However the rear turrets have action. Is it? No, it's not. I don't know, I can't tell with this game half the time. <laughs> well, yeah, that's a fair point, because what she's got... The steering gear compartment's damaged, but it's not flooded. Uh, what we talk about? A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, J, K. So, Alpha, Bravo, Charlie, Delta, everything... Oh, from A Alpha to Echo section are not <laughs> are not flooded, they're damaged. <laughs> um what we're talking about <sighs> Foxtrot Golf Hotel Juliet and Kilo section on what well, one, two Three deck, yeah, we'll say three deck are flooded. <clears throat> oh my god, she's coming back! <laughs> my life. Sod it, just go all full aggressive. Oosh. Um, yeah, she's also got an internal fire on a in two Juliet. Well, that mess deck's going. And, ooh. Oh, oh. The off boiler room's flooding as well, so that's not good. I think, unfortunately, here. I think she's going to be going down soon. Oh, there's another bloody torpedo. Here we go. I know. I'm not surprised the bloody ammunition. I'm surprised the ammunition has gone off yet. Like, Jesus Christ. And where's 
Canopus gone? Oh, no, not Canopus. <laughs> She's back there somewhere. Oh, she's taking damage. Good Hope's also not doing well. Three Bravo to Foxtrot are about flooded. That's like the entire engine room compartments. Well, no, the engine room's there. That's all the boilers are basically flooded, including what's possibly the powder magazine for the forward turret. Maybe. Nice and I was buggered off. She's taking some damage. Leipzig is doing alright. Sharnhorse is damaged. Dresden is non existently hit. And Nuremberg is meh. No, you don't really want to be, do you? Like, this is genuinely possibly the worst experience of your life. It's like being on Bismarck at its final battle. It's a place you really don't want to be. And, oh, look, the flooding's actually uh, gone from the, from the half boiler room. Pretty much is. They're both... Ooh. I think Good Home might go down first. If I could speed up time. Do, do, do. Engines out of action. Well, one of the engines is out of action and the steering is out of action. Good Hope, on the other hand, has just taken a direct hit straight to f well, bridge out of action. So that's Craddock gone. Glasgow sank. She went down to the bottom. She took two torpedoes and sort of imploded, well, blew up and sank. Technically, chronologically, Good Hope sank from a magazine detonation to a four turret, and she went down first, and then afterwards Monmouth took a couple of hours to sink, eventually being torpedoed by the Leipzig, I believe. Oh god, here we go. Another torpedo inbound for the Good Hope. And it's going to miss. Ooh. Impressive. Watch, watch Good Hope now. Just come back and be like, Aha! What was that? I saw a big massive explosion and I didn't see it. What happened? Monmouth's doing all right, and Good Hope is, yeah, I think she's, no, she's definitely stopped. I don't know if they did fire the torpedoes. No, they did. Leipzig launched torpedoes at Monmouth to put her down, because she was sort of really the closest one. By the point that Monmouth went down, it was pretty much dark, and it was like a knife fight, Well, it would have been a knife fight. Glasgow had a Foxtrot Oscar, along with the Otranto. Good Hope had probably been blown in half by there. I mean, Craddock was probably, well, killed straight afterwards. And, yeah. Jeff, do you mean Otranto? Because Otranto... Because we can actually model it, but Tranto basically buggered off somewhere over there. And ooh, yes, there is a fire under the second funnel. Oh dear. That's not good. Oh yeah, there is, isn't it? Oh, the entire aft end of the ship is now ablaze. That was at Nuremberg. It's one of the three. I can't remember half the bloody names of them. 
I knew I have a very, very strong hatred for one of them, and I couldn't remember which one it was. I always thought it was a Leipzig, but maybe I've forgot it. But then again, that one's still over there. But yeah, I couldn't actually make the Atranto, so she then turned into a tanker. No, they haven't, have they? <laughs> I don't know how. <laughs> but, yeah. And how are they ricocheting shots? Well, they sort of are ricocheting shots, but... Mm. I mean, I don't really want to say this, but why do they make this bloody sink? <sighs> like, seriously. I mean, she's on fire. The engines are out of action. Pretty much, it's bloody well. Hmm. I mean, it's crack German gunnery when you actually get the shots in, but ooh, that one's damaged. Like, proper damage. How's Monmouth doing? <laughs> oh, here comes another torpedo. We'll slow it down for this one. Let's see if she takes the torpedo and actually sinks from it. At this rate, it actually feels like it's a bloody blank for the real battle. <laughs> Jesus Christ. I think Good Hope's going down. She's going down. Finally. Good Hope. Sounds really bad. F finally, she goes down. But no. She finally sinks. Believe the waves. Yeah, we'll watch this sink. I will try and give you an idea of what's going on with Monmouth as well. I know, right? Oh, look! You've got the boats coming off. And the oil. Hmm, that's strange. She doesn't have any oil on board. She only got. She's a coal powered vessel and they've got oil coming out of the ship. Hmm. Interesting. Very interesting. I called BS on that one. Although now she's actually starting to sink, she's taking a bloody sweet time by going down. <clears throat> okay, alright, we'll go for the lube. We'll go for the lube. <laughs> the lube has floated off the ship. Ooh! Hello. Nuremberg seems to have lost a crew member. Nure um, Good Hope went down quick. Like, proper quick. Like, I'm pretty sure damage control didn't even... But well, I don't think the damage control could even do anything because the entire front end of the ship was gone. 
and the speed she was going, she literally just lawn darted. Oh, Nuremberg's just run out of torpedoes, which means she's fired her last one. So, no one believes they saw Good Hope, but based off the fact that her forward magazine detonated and she went down, and the fact that no one survived is the most likely hypothesis for her sinking, is the lawn dart effect. Oh, well, I don't... Oh. Lawn darting is probably the most easiest way to sort of describe it. Basically went straight down bow first. How's Monmouth doing? <laughs> you never know, she actually might bloody survive this. The lawn dart. A lawn dart is basically when you think you throw and it's sort of like curved downwards. It's basically like HMS Victoria or HMS Victoria. How the fact that she's basically bow straight into the water, bow straight into the bottom. However, the weird thing is no one's actually ever found the wrecks for Monmouth or Good Hope. So, yeah. I personally would love to go find these two ships. However, the problem... Monmouth found a torpedo. <laughs> well, I don't know. That's the thing. Dove like the vigil and <laughs> never came back up. Although, look at the way that Good Hope sank is the way we believe Monmouth went down. I believe it was over a couple of hours, or I think it's like by the time the battle ended. And Monmouth went down, I think it was like three hours, maybe? Maybe a little bit longer? Because the battle was fought at, the, at dusk, technically speaking, with Monmouth going down after min after night, basically. Oh! She's finally going down. Yes. No! No! Oh, Mom's going down. No, Monmouth, no. <laughs> Monny's gone down. Ah, uh, no. <laughs> Anyway, whilst Monmouth goes down like she did in real life, that we believe, we'll talk about what we're going to do next. So that took an hour and a half to, for the ships to sink. Hmm. Indeed. Except for... I don't think you can see... Good Hope anymore. She's... And there goes the ensign. Monmouth, on the other hand, still flying the. Uh... Did it? Where is it? Oh my god! They're survivors! <laughs> Very unrealistic. Is it a shame that the game, when I actually made the three stack county class? Monmouth, they didn't actually decide to bring it in with the good hope. 
which I'm very sad about because it did look really good. Oh, the sound this thing makes when she sings. Although, I think, to be honest, because the ship's taking that long to sink... No, I... Oh, she has taken 100% loss. Hmm. So you can actually hear the... Well, can you hear the game sound? Because I can hear in my ear. And you just hear the ship groaning as she goes down. Apparently not. I mean, there's three cutters, but no crew apparently survived. I mean, it takes a few people to launch a lifeboat. Unless the lifeboats have been blown off a ship. But, hmm. Oh, she seems to have, have fires in the boiler rooms. What happens next? Um... Are we happy to leave Monmouth to it? Hmm, I know. I mean, I'm I'm happy to leave Monmouth sink if anyone else is ready to leave a go down. Cool, right. Leave the battle. So, the first one, to, well, the first request was a Japanese destroyer. Versus, what should we go for with, in terms of this? Oh, wait, we were going to do Canopus, weren't we? Yeah, we do need to do that. Would make the game a little bit more realistic. Yeah, crack on. Suggest something. <laughs> Why do that? The Empire of Japan... Oh, Germany... I think they did have torpedo boats in 1940, but okay. We'll leave it as that. Well, yeah, they sort of were, weren't they? Okay. La hybrid destroyer. Interesting. Destroyer leader. Aggie. Let's do a 4,500 4, ton destroyer. <laughs> 42 knots. <laughs> um. Hello, James. American Heavy Cruiser times three versus... Ooh, okay. All right, deal. We'll do that. Is that a British superstructure? The lifeboat. Oh god, that's weird. Okay, cool. Let's do it. Speed. I am speed. Right. US cruiser. Drop the battle range to 5,000 meters. Um, American heavy cruisers times three. Japanese heavy cruisers times three. <laughs> Spanish Empire, oh god. 
<laughs> three canaries. Oh, banter. It's going to be great fun. And a destroyer. Oh. And four American destroyers. One, two, three, four. Unlock. Design ships. Let's see what cruisers we can make. Heavy cruiser. That's like a, I mean, that does really look like a heavy cruiser, but you know. Hmm. So kids, apparently the USS Los Angeles is a Megami hull. <laughs> okay, here we go. So, that's like a Bismarck hull, with a step, uh, oh, 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 that's the Graf Spee, right, okay, um, let me just try and think of how we do that, experimental heavy cruiser, Hmm. That's basically French. Uh, what's the best hull for this then? That's like a... James is a PWO in terms of he's a member. So he's basically a child supporter, basically. How's that? Oh, that's short and stumpy. That's interesting. Heavy Scout Cruiser. It's probably the closest thing. Game Gib Northampton Glass Hull. Um, I'm trying to think. Is there any other holes that we really have? This hole. Sound good. So it gives a random destroyer hybrid. <laughs> oh, that's a that's a Deutschland. I meant they added they need to add it. Oh right, okay. Right. Oh. So apparently, boys and girls, we're getting uh What can it be described as a Takao <laughs> infrastructure? Um, one minute, one minute, make it a bit more realistic. Main superstructure. Eh? Um, <laughs> meant to be building a Jap an American one, but hmm, interesting. Apparently, we're building a Montana. <laughs> Apparently. Literally seems to be the only thing we can build. So. Apparently, it's called the Cruiser South Dakota. We can't even go for 12 inch guns. That's annoying. So. What am I doing? What am I doing? They're not 12s, they're bloody 8s. For heavy cruiser, James. <sighs> I 
Sorry. Weird sudden rush of crap to the brain there. Okay. So. There we go. Eight inch guns are in. Funnel. They had two funnels. Um. USS Northampton. Cool, you are a 9,000 ton ship. I think we need to drop the... Hmm. Um, I will. What are we talking about? Northampton? Um, that's the closest I'm going to get to the actual displacement. Oh. That's a bit more US Navy looking. Only downside is, is what you get there. Now Northampton has got two funnels. Doesn't really look like that, but mm. No, not really. Anyway, we got. We can't really use the destroyer ones either. It's a bit annoying. So. Guns. Centre guns. 8 inch triples. That's really ugly. That's really ugly. I thought we were going for Northampton. But anyway, we'll do. We'll bring it down as much as possible. That's basically a German hull. I'm gonna have to do it like this. I mean, you can technically classify that as the flying off bit ish. Apparently, that's the wrong bit. There we are, two funnels, eight inch guns for a Northampton class. Probably move that gun turret a bit, a bit closer. I know it looks a bit weird. It's like a German hull with the Iowa superstructure, but hey ho. <laughs> oh, it's got five inch thirty eights as well. Great. Um, what's the two inch guns? It does look a bit like a battleship, I'll give you that, yeah. Right, there's some saluting guns. Um, hang on, what? 
Oh, they got and build. 1941. Right, here we go. So ditch the poxy saloon guns. Five inch singles. Well, they had eight. And, oh, wait. Ditch that gun. 85 inch guns and the saluting guns. Stick them in there. Yeah, 500 singles. Which look bloody massive. And that, ooh, 1.1 inch machine guns. Uh, two, four, there we are. Well, fans in class. Bulkhead's there. She was not that fast. 32.7. That'll do. Right. Uh, fill the oil. Balanced. Are they turbo electric? No, they're steam turbine. Auxiliaries. <laughs> I can see the same thing. Barbettes. Four. Do they have an anti torpedo bolt? I don't think they did. Anti torpedo two. Yep. Anti flood. We've got some armored citadel. No, 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 no. Right. Rangefinder. Did she have a radar before she went down? Yes. Nah, sort of. Okay, maybe give him a little bit of sonar. Okay. Belt armor. Here we go. Main belt of three and a half inches. It's probably going to go for four. Ditch the forward and aft ends. Main deck is two inches. I've got Wikipedia up now on my other screen. Conning Tower is one and a quarter inches. See, you thought I was good. Like, I am good, I just can't remember that stuff. Right. Turrets. Two and a half inches. Oh yes, the power of internet. It's great, it's good. Uh, two and a half there, and we'll just, yep, two and a half inch turret, and a three quarter inch roof, so that's there. Let's do it. Mm-hmm. So, the US Navy versus the Japanese Navy. Who's going to win? Get your bets in here! Get your bets! <laughs> I've got two for one of the Japs! 
and seven to one on the Americans. <laughs> Who's gonna win? Who's gonna lose? Put your bets in here. Yeah, the Japs are gonna win. <laughs> oh god. Oh. Oh no, I forgot about that. Oops. I have no going back now. <laughs> They're all bloody recruits. <laughs> oh, God. The hell is that destroyer? What the hell is that heavy cruiser? And why is the... Why is one of the battle groups... Why, why is one of the ships called the Saratoga? <laughs> oh, God. I mean... That's an interesting destroyer. What's, oh my god. How many torpedo tubes? What the fuck is that? And yeah, the design of the British, the American destroyer is quite cool, but what? <laughs> The f what? <laughs> like, <clears throat> did they go to the Yamato school for design or something? Because that's that's strange, <laughs> really strange. And that's just a single gun turret and a wall of skill. Oh my god. Yeah. Overpenetration destroy torpedo. What? Look at the destroyer. That's weird. That's really strange. What the hell is that destroyer? <laughs> is it bad I like these designs? <laughs> I don't think he's actually that bad. I mean, I'd, I'd take the destroyer and the cruiser. And these two are gonna, actually going to have a be rammed. Ooh. God knows. See, even they're like, is that a cruiser? What? <laughs> they're like, is that a battle cruiser? I, I don't know. <laughs> What's this ashore like? That's a interesting destroyer, but what are you shooting at? Right. Do all to shoot the enemies. Bloody AI. Well, one of the destroyers has taken a hit, but um, 
apart from that, um, it seems to be pretty even at the moment. <laughs> ah, the Noko Girly. <laughs> Oh, the knock girly. Oh, flying rebel. Washibi. Interesting name. What's that one called? I'm still working that one out. That's still being worked out. That one's... Seems to be taking a nosedive. Not very good ships for... Um, Sea stay over, well, calm. <laughs> the Akashi. How many torpedoes is that? 5, 10, 15, 20, 21. Um, eh, sort of. It's eh. I mean, that lost half his arse. <laughs> That's also built on a destroyer hull. She's got 40 torpedoes on board. Jesus Christ, this is the Kitakami. It's a bloody Kitakami. Right, let's look at Northampton. Northampton, why are you turning away? Your course. Is that way? Um, you in command? Quincy? Or are you in the command? You're in command, right. Hmm. <sighs> Yeah, so it seems they have not mastered the idea of uh, command and control with a ship. Well, with a multitude of ships. That destroyer... Has just taken a hit in the arse. Hmm. I mean, they might look good. I don't think they actually are any good at all, destroyer-wise. <clears throat> but, yeah, I don't think the, the Americans are going to win this. Someone just told me they're not. I mean, it doesn't seem like there's any... Decent anti torpedo. How are they vet? What? <laughs> How are they all veterans and they can't hit a bloody brought out of a barn from the inside? Ah. So the cruisers are cadets. That's why. Hence why they're sailing around in bloody circles. Hmm. Well then. That would... Ooh, torpedoes. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, Hello. 
Oh, our first casualty of the day. USS Eaton's about to sink. This is going to be the weirdest battle of Savo Island. See, the Japanese haven't even been hit yet. Like, what is wrong with them? Like, baby yammies buggered off. The Kitakami on... Well... <laughs> I don't really think there's any drug that can basically describe what the hell that is. <sighs> Looks like they had a sale on bloody torpedo tubes. And why would you put your guns up front? <sighs> yeah, they are seasoned. So what happens yeah, when you get the Japanese to, shoot, to uh, go and evade Manchuria? They actually seem to be able to do something. <sighs> oh, Mayer's about to go and uh, run into a ship. She's doing 43 knots. Like, Jesus. However, she has got a fire amidships, which if I was the US Navy, I would get your FRPPs and uh, damage control parties to go and sort that one out, because it's a bit awkward when you go into battle and you're, uh, you got a fire. <laughs> oh, got one in the engine room now as well. Mm, it's not good. another fire structurally not great buoyancy wise not bad and the question is though what's gonna die first this or one of the Japanese cue the Benny Hill music and we regain the action. She's got no torpedoes. <laughs> oh, she's been penetrated. Deep penetration, apparently. Come on. Become a human torpedo. Nope. Wall of skill by there. Look at that. That's ridiculous. That is a dirty amount of torpedoes. Oh, she's scared. Pulling a Johnson on these guys. Fire everything. Do it. In the words of Sheev Palpatine, do it. I feel like she might be torpedoed. Close range torpedo. Oh, over penetration, over penetration, over penetration. Oh. 
Come on. I hope ramming ramming is actually a thing in this game. Come here. Come here. Come here. It's racing out. It's racing out. Ram it. Whee. Doof. Yes. The blade destroyer is bigger than the cruiser. That was cool. Do it again. Whee! Oops. There's a nice big fire coming out of the side of the ship. <laughs> uh oh. It's always hit by a torpedo. Torpedo penetration on the like cruiser. Um, a little bit damaged. There's a torpedo there. Oh, fuck. <clears throat> I mean, I'm not surprised. <laughs> Stringham's going down. Um, that one got about five torpedoes to the face. <laughs> this one... Yeah. Not great. Let's look at the cruisers. Oh my god. <laughs> um... Hmm. So, who would have thought that, um, yeah, that's great. He's randomly turning around in circles. Northampton, fine. Quincy, fine. Saratoga, nah. <laughs> Broke. Dead. Ridiculous. I think... I think it's time I take him out of the ship. Because... I'm not going to lie to you here. I don't think it's doing well. I mean... Quincy looks like she's oh that's well, another destroyer how is she sinking what the fuck are you doing you stupid cruiser I'm surprised I haven't bloody capsized yet I think this might be a tactical loss for the uh, for the U.S. Navy. Just, just saying. Oh, she's actually. <sighs> yeah, one of a Kool Aid the bloody Japanese Navy even taking <laughs> seems to have done them good. They've literally gone away with no damage. That. It's probably got the most damage on it. The... Ashaki. The weird destroyer that's got a really, really small superstructure. That's pretty much from an Alba. I mean... That's how tall the deck is. 
Mm. That's... Yeah. What's the gun on? Oh. That's, um... Hmm. Well, she's got no, no more torpedo ammo left on board. Shoot this. Oof. Yes. Kill it. Do it. Yeah, it's got eight inches in its own light cruiser. She's lost 25% of her crew. Hmm. Oh. Hello. Seems to be launching another torpedo salvo at the uh, the cruiser line. How are you doing? Miss, miss, miss. Miss. Oh, you actually got a hit. <sighs> Miss. What? <laughs> oh, the bloody submarine, but the the destroyer is doing more damage to the heavy cruiser than the light cruiser is with its guns. Oh my god. <laughs> they can, yes. Oh, she's fine again. Oh, Northampton has been damaged. Northampton is very badly damaged. Oh. There's the baby yammies. No wonder why Northampton's getting smashed in the side. I mean, yeah. It's, it's not going well for the US Navy. What does that mean this is not going well for me? Do I just seem to not be good at this game? Oh, dear. Um, 
She seems to be coming back. Close range, there's a lot of torpedoes and guns being flung everywhere. And then, like, an intertwined battle, Age of Sail style. Kind of cool. I'm not that the slow mo <laughs> really crap frames per second makes it look like slow mo shots. It's quite cool. <laughs> it's kind of awful as well, but yeah. Oh, miss. I don't know. Yes. So they're going to be sunk by just basically making the ship so structurally unsound that the ship sinks. Or. Oh no. Where's the Quincy gone? Oh, Quincy's over there. So they're going to have to destroy him by basically making sure that the structural integrity of the ship is zero. Or you basically make the ship's buoyancy zero. Are those torpedoes? No, they're just waves. Let's go look at Northampton. Northampton's doing 19 knots. And... Isn't doing well. Sod it, attack, detach. Full speed. Uh... There's another Campbell. What are you doing over there? <laughs> Destroy's like, school you guys, I'm going home. And the heavy cruisers are just being pummeled and burned to death. She's pretty much dead in the water. Sorry, is. Northampton's a little bit damaged. Right, shoot the Yuki Cart Yuzi Kuzi, whatever it's called. Guarantee you'll bloody hit the thing now, won't it? Uzuki. There we are. Come here. It's like watching a bit of a World of Warships video. Just. Ooh! That was a hit. Yeah, they're not going, they're not surviving this game. Japanese are one. What happens when you have the numerical advantage? I 
I'm surprised the five inch guns aren't actually hitting it. Well, <laughs> I say that. They are now. The yammies are over there. Not one of them has taken any damage at all. Please come on, oh, battle with at least one kill. America, come on. They've been beaten by basically destroyer hulls. Pretty much. The worst thing is, though, is three heavy cruisers are being beaten up by what can be only described as a Minikaze hull and a couple of Shimikaze hulls that have been turned into a heavy cruiser and has an 8 inch gun on the front. Like, come on. Seriously. I mean, I'm awful at shooting, but even still, I can bloody shoot one of these things. And she's a bloody green crew on this thing. Which means they're literally straight out of training. Straight out of phase two on a boat. Off we go. It's <laughs> Hello, he's buggered off now. Which punching bag's next? Oh, there we are. Ashi Taki. Right, Akashi. Shoot this one. You might as well. Wait, come on. I mean, it's a bloody stationary target, for God's sake. There we are. Come on. Oh, bloody hell, they've actually managed to score some flooding. Oh my god. <laughs> Could have gone for a bloody naffy run at this point. <sighs> yeah, don't worry, lads. Go make your beds. Have some scram. Be fine. Oh. Oh. Wait, what was that? Ah, she's lost a torpedo tube. <laughs> Finally. And now, because she was literally on the very edge of sinking, they can't hit it. <laughs> I don't lie, they can now hit. <sighs> oh, it's like watching flipping paint dry. Come on, you piece of crap. Just die. In other news, the rest of the Japanese fleet has gone. <laughs> In a very honourable decision, they've decided that uh, they've won the battle. They're going home. Gone home for sushi and sake.
<sighs> Come on. <laughs> <sighs> I've watched paint dry on bulkheads and it's been more interesting than watching this ship getting shot at the paint took longer to like the paint has genuinely like took longer to dry but still more entertaining than watching Akas Akashi go from the brink of oh no I'm going to sing to I'm back <sighs> come on Yay! Yep. Pain in the ass has gone down. Oh! They're trying to shoot the destroyer now. I'm watching. Long range hit. Oh, no. Actually, they're shooting at. Unibi. And they've actually seemed to hit a hit hit <laughs> of all things. I think after we see one of the, well, one of the cruisers go down next, I think that'll be the end of it because there's no point in playing anymore. It would generally appear they're still shooting at the destroyer. Oh, hello. Partial penetration. Penetration to the forecastle, it seems. She also seems to have 127 rounds remaining. No, 174. Sorry. No, not even in a small 2 and 2. Ridiculous. Like, come on. Seriously. And the gun's even rotating. It's not even firing. I mean, somewhere out there, there's a Brit there's an American destroyer. Let's just go and screw you guys and bug it off. <laughs> Whereas here, even the why is Quincy not even, you know, engaging? Uh, oh well. Can't really do anything about it. They've literally encircled the US units. <laughs> and Quincy is flipping doing donuts. And they're going to sit around and go in for another run. Oh. We're going to get another ramming incident. Come on. <sighs> sloppy. Real sloppy. Ooh. She's been hit. She's flooding. Come on. 
God, can you imagine if the US bring it back now? Like one of the best comebacks ever. <laughs> Although I feel like the... N I don't think they're going to be able to take down the baby yammies. Just thinking it's... Looking at what Quinty's minor damage, Northampton practically about to sink, Saratoga also about to sink. Um, the hat, not sure. No, the hat means the coin tower is damaged. The flag, I don't know. I'll have a look. <laughs> NATO flags. <laughs> um, it's red and white, isn't it? Red and white checkered flag. Uh, warship. Let's have a look. I don't know. <laughs> is the is the genuine question? Well, genuine answer. Oh, it is. It's flag uniform, which means in date. Well, standing into danger. So I'm guessing basically means it's under attack. It's on fire. <sighs> in distress. Oh, she is taking on a lot more damage. Oof. That was two good hits. Come on. Oh, Saratoga might be bringing it back. Northampton are going to do anything? We hope. Engines damaged, engines damaged, engines damaged. Over penetration, no penetration, no penetration, no penetration. <laughs> How many shells does it take to put a bloody destroyer down? It's like two feet wide. It's got armor that's bloody paper. Now is it worth changing to high explosives? There we are. More damage happening. Now that was a good call. Now die. <laughs> the ship's literally ablaze. Ablaze from stem to stern. Hmm. Fair. Oh, hello. Go on. Let's get everyone else to shoot that one. She got torpedoes left. No, good. Although she does seem to be low on ammunition. 
which is good. Which means we are. We might bring it back, depending on how many how much ammunition we have left. Oh, a rudder has been damaged. Oh God, oh God. Slow down, you crazy git. It's because I'm going too fast, that's why. Now, is this technically classified as a tactical retreat, or is it not? Which technically means, would the Americans win? Or not? Oof. Well, Thamden's almost down. See, I think it's hard to actually shoot a target that's sailing away from you. Eh. They've lost a destroyer and a crew and a light cruiser. Whereas the US lost three. And if they continue this, we, they might lose another cruiser. Oh, well, Super Destroyer, depending on which way you look at it, because it's basically a light cruiser hull. Well, no, it's a destroyer hull, basically. Really weird that mount. <laughs> Although, at this rate, I think we might be losing Saratoga. <laughs> it's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Gone. See, we've got bloody torpedoes on board still. It's buggered off. <laughs> That's what you call an awful destroyer. Come on. Jesus Christ, on a bicycle. I can probably quick scope, no scope this bloody thing. And I'm awful at it. I... Come on. Please. Just get a hit. For me. <laughs> And a miss on the very close does not count. I want crippling damage. I want the ship to stop and I want it to flood and sink. If you can't give it to me, then you should be sacked. There we are. That's me being an admiral. Admiral James says, if you can't shoot something, if you miss it, you're fired. There we are. Remember that. I forgot to say, the bloody light cruiser's shooting the bloody cruiser, and it's actually hitting it. 
Oh, they got two bloody guns. Well, based off the time, it wouldn't be a restart. Because some of us need to go to bed. Oh dear. Right. Looking at it. <laughs> Once in a million sure that was. Oh, hello. Ironically, we are actually starting to see hits. The yammies gone. <laughs> Generally, just left. Not coming back. Let's speed this up. So they'll be out of gun range. Or they'll be out of ammunition. I'm thinking The Japanese are out of ammunition, so they're retreating. It all depends how Onibi gets on. Does she survive or does she die? I think she's going to survive. So, you know, ironically, the US can't even shoot inside of a bar. Well, sure. Oh, hello. So, you know, the US can't hit an inside of a barn from well, the. Yeah, let me really say that. Can't hit, hit the broad side of a barn from the inside. There we are. I can actually English. <sighs> I mean, looking at her overall damage, she's got damaged engines, damaged steering. That's a fair point. They are pretty far out, though. I don't think I don't think they can shoot anymore. We'll give it a couple more seconds and then we'll leave it to it. Cuz I don't think they're going to be able to shoot anymore. And that's it. Ah, oh, I don't just can't save anymore. Never mind. Right. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you very much for joining me tonight. It's been a nice little... Well, it's been nice to chat to all of you. 
and obviously get your feedback and a couple of ideas. I might play this again tomorrow in the daytime, if anyone would like to watch. But all I can say is thank you all so much to everyone. I will catch you soon. The um, this video is going to be up tomorrow at 0900 UK time. So I'll see you then. Bye-bye all.